Hi, Cy si here from Music Radar. We're at Superbooth 2018. We are, this is the Not Rocket Science booth. This is Stein. Hello, Hello Stein. Um, well, we've got lots to talk about. First of all, we'll talk about your new modules. Yes. Go for it. So we've got the edge cutter and the wobbler. Yeah. So, um, talk about the edge cutter first. Okay, yeah, the edge cutter is, a, is our new uh, take on the 80s envelope. Uh, we had to have one, so... You made it. Made it yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but, but because just making just the envelope is not what we like to do, uh, we gave it some some ex ex uh, interesting extras to play with. Mm -hmm. uh, it has fully uh, CV everything, so you can CV ADSR, CV control the curvature from logarithmic to exponential, and some extras. Uh -huh. uh, you get state outputs, so you can um, at the end of each stage you get the, the trigger out from, uh, from all the points, which can also be configured as a gate output, so you can trigger other envelopes with it. Um, and well, I'll, I'll, I'll just show the extra. Yeah, yeah, patch it, it in. It has, uh, uh, see, I have a noise. I have a noise. Uh, and I have... Mm. That's what happens if you open up the curvature all the way to the right, you get a staggered release. So you can use it as a sort of cheap built-in delay effect to do other sounds, uh -huh. or, or use it for percussion or strumming. So like this, uh, again. If you put it all the way to the other side, you get the same effect, but in the attack and the decay instead. So. And then beyond that, it can do all the usual modes. It has a trigger mode, it has a gate mode, it has a loop mode. Uh, you can have short or long envelopes, and uh -huh. it has a velocity input, so, to, so you can scale the peaks. Nice. Um, and it shows you what it's doing. That, that's, that's maybe the yeah, main nice selling point. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's cool. That's cool. Uh, the tagline on the website is it's a visual envelope, and it's exactly what it's going to do. Um, then there is the wobbler. Next to it, the wobbler, of course. The wobbler. Yeah. Uh, it's it's our take on what an pink LFO should be. It has all the usual shapes. It has again the visualization. It, it's uh, two two separate uh, uh, separate LFOs that can be uh, CV control out of phase. You can see them go in and out of phase here. Uh -huh. uh, it has all the usual wave shapes. Uh, you can invert the wave shape if you if you'd rather like the salt it to go the other way. Yeah. And then it has um, from here the fun starts because we have a whole bunch of more experimental waves, which can, um, oh, they, they all go into the, the, their logical extremes pretty much. And then there's the, the, the more physical modeling based modes, which are modeled like a twanging stick, like if you, if you have a stick, they go yeah, yeah, yeah. But this thing can do that too. So uh, now it's, it's not doing anything because I haven't triggered it yet. But as soon as I give it a kick, it goes. Oh, lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you can you can uh, cha change the, the shape of the decay. So you get very short, very short, uh -huh. all the way to it, even having an attack. So it's not, it's not a super great. Also, the chaotic brother of that, the double pendulum. It's like having a pendulum with a pendulum attached, and if you, and then, okay, yeah, yeah. If you give it a really big kick, you get chaotic motion, which is sort of the first chaotic system in nature. Uh, you can use it to make natural sounding, well, drones or whatever, or even just uh, physical modeling sounds. Um, I'll, I'll, just, uh, I'll just give it a go. Uh, otherwise I'll be playing for hours here. No? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, beyond the, the, the more natural chaos, there's actual chaos, which is uh, just sample and hold randomness. But it's quite nice quiet time. <laughs> and beyond that, you get quantized sample and hold, which is quantized into eight values before sampling, so it's, it's more musical. Okay. And it's sample, so it's it's a little secret, let's say you have it. Oh, oh, it's, 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 it's the blinky mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And on the other side, all the way beyond the basic mode, we have super slow mo mode. So you get really slow. Nice drifting out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can cycle times of hours if you want. So <laughs> drone tastic. Like yes. It. So um, those, those two are now available. Cool. Um, how much are we looking at for both uh, of these? 300 euros. 300 each. Yeah. Yeah. Great. 300 each. Um, we should draw attention, of course, to the wonderful keyboard you have yeah. beneath these um, yeah. uh, housed in. Um, tell us about what you're trying to achieve with this. Um, particular uh, setup here. Well, at, at the very first, I, I needed to have a keyboard, so I, I just I just had to have a keyboard for Superboot. Yeah. And then uh, not, I wasn't happy with what was available, so I had to buy uh, I had to build one. 
Um, so I made one, I made a, I made a set of complementary modules to, to get it to work and a key scanner and everything else. Um, and now we're, we're investigating if we, if we want to produce some ourselves eventually, yeah. or maybe just supply other, other case builders with, our key, with the key beds and the yeah. key modules so they can build nice build their own keyboard systems around stuff. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like I was saying, yeah. keyboard sort of DIY for the masses and uh, yeah, yeah, let, yeah, yeah, let it do its thing. Cool. So um, you were trying, you maybe come into sort of market maybe, when you think that might happen possibly uh, next year or beyond? I, I'm, I'm not betting on anything. <laughs> <laughs> we have a bigger a project in question. between. So. Well, that's, there's <laughs> another thing. You see, now yeah, the yeah, bigger yeah. project is, if you come around here, Adam, yeah. check this out. Stein, tell us, well, a lot of people, like you say, a lot of people will recognize this thing right here. Yeah, it, it's the Synthon Phoenix 2. Yeah. It's, uh, it, it, it's a modular synthesizer classic. It's a completely self-contained system. Uh, if, if you would have to have the Eurorack equivalent, it's about 35 modules in one. Yeah. Uh, it sounds bloody amazing. <laughs> uh, we, we have some beats going on here right now. Just as a, just because we needed some beats in the background. Yeah. Uh, but this summer we're going into a design sprint where we just dive under and make a hybrid 2018 version of oh, this cool. with some of our stuff. Yeah. Lots of his stuff. <laughs> so that's the Synto Novo guys, of course, which we, we will talk to them uh, separately about the new uh, synth they've got going there. So 2018 version of this, you'll be, like you say, this year you're going to be going at it. Yeah, we're diving time. under, yeah. yeah. So that, that, that's several months already gone. Yeah. And then, then uh, once that's going, then we go back to the keyboard. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> and then we've got a lot going on. Around, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Stein, thank you so much for uh, chatting to us right now. Um, this is all good, good, fun stuff, and we hope to um, hopefully uh, review some of this stuff soon yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, have that. You'll, you'll see lots more of us. Yeah, <laughs> brilliant. Thank you very much. So uh, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share wherever you're seeing this video right now. Uh, head on over to musicradar.com for latest news, reviews, and tutorials, and uh, check back for more Superbeast news very soon. So see you later. Cheers.